welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. We are talking about becoming a person of the Word of God, the Bible. Uh, and we are saying that there are major steps in reading and studying the Bible. Last time, we said that uh, there are some prerequisites to really becoming uh, a student of the book. And when I say student, I'm not talking about some big academic deal, although there are academic steps to understanding the Bible. There are things you need to know and be able to employ as you do that. So we said this is talking about these prerequisites. This is talking about heart preparation, that your attitude is right as you open the book up and you're prepared to get the most from it. Um, the first thing we said, and the major prerequisite was that Jesus has to live in your life. I hope he does. And if he doesn't, why don't you ask him to come into your life and take up a residence in you? Now, your life will never be the same again, for now or forever. Now, there are three major steps in Bible study or Bible reading. And we're just going to talk about one of them briefly today. And that step is observation. And by the way, I hope you take notes. I hope you rerun this red glasses and write this down. I don't know how you remember things unless you have a photographic memory. And if you intend to really employ this, you need to write it down and look at it. And then you can pass it along to others as well as the video. So observation. So what is observation? It asks and answers the question, what do I see? As I open up the Bible and I read a verse or a passage, what are the facts? In other words, you have to become a biblical detective. You have to look for clues. And you need to remember no clue or detail is insignificant. Everything in the Bible, even the V's and the A's, all of it is critical to understand. Now listen to this. The process of observation will yield the material out of which you will formulate an understanding and interpretation of the passage. Observation is critical. So let's talk about observation for a little bit more. What do I see? Psalm 119 verse 18 says, Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Open my eyes, Lord. You've got to have his divine enablement to be able to get what he wants you to get from the Bible. And when Christ comes in your life, the Holy Spirit comes in your life, and the Holy Spirit gives you that, that, that insight and that not just sight, not just seeing the words, but the insight that you need to understand his truth. So you become a good Bible student through skills and developing those skills and observation. All you need, to understand the Bible is right there in front of you. All the words, all the basic concepts, the meaning is right there. So you've got to learn to observe. You need to know what's there and you got to be willing to see it. So let me ask you a question. What do you see? On a piece of paper, why don't you draw a similar rectangle? and put what you see on your paper from what you see on this paper. Now, here's my question. How many observations can you come up with by looking at this piece of paper? You ought to be able to come up with eight or ten like that, and probably even more. So the question is, what do you see? Developing the ability to see is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. So there was a great um, naturalist who was born in Switzerland, and he lived from 1807 to 1873. His name was Agassiz. And one of his gifts was the gift of observation. And when he taught his students, he taught them how to observe. And he was asked one day, he said, what is your greatest scientific contribution. He said, I have taught men and women how to observe. So what was his process? Well, here was his process. He would come in class on the first day, the freshman class, and he would put in front of each student a malodorous fish. 
and you put it on a tray and put it in front of the student. He would stick it right beneath their nose and he would say, write down as many observations as you can make. And so the next day, the student would come to class and most of them would have found 25 to 30 observations. He said, good start. Now I want you to make another 30. This process would go on for sometimes three weeks. And the students started to observe and see things they had never dreamed were even there because he taught them the skills necessary to observe. The same is true when you come to the Bible. The basis of good Bible study and learning something from the Scripture to apply to your life that God wants you to know and to live out is observation. So the question is, why don't I get more out of Bible study? Why don't I get more out of Bible reading? Two reasons. Number one, you don't know how to read. Number two, you don't know what to look for. And that's what we're going to look at in the weeks to come. So here's your assignment if you choose to accept it. Read the first chapter of Mark, the Gospel of Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read the first chapter and make as many observations you can in the next week until the next Red Glasses Talks. That's going to be fun. You're going to be amazed what you find and what you discover. Ask the Lord to help you to make those observations. And you know what? He will.